Mario Odyssey is likely the most ambitious 3D Mario platformer ever made. With the introduction of Cappy, you not only get a ton of cool new ways to move around, but with his help, you can now capture allies and enemies, allowing you to play as them. Many of these captures help you greatly along the way. But what if you had to play the game without Cappy at all? No crazy movement options, and more importantly, no capturing anything. Would it be possible to beat the game? You may have heard of Minimum Captures, a very challenging speedrun that requires you to beat the game with as few captures as possible. But even in this run, you can use Cappy. What we're about to do is get as many moons as possible without using Cappy at all. And the rules simply state, arrive at each kingdom and collect as many moons as possible without using Cappy. If you must use Cappy to advance the next kingdom, you may, but any moons that you collect after doing so will not count towards your total. And you're not allowed to travel backwards for any moons. The run ends when you beat the game. The goal, 124 moons. As normally, this is the minimum amount of moons required to beat the game. So, can you actually get 124 moons without using Cappy at all? We begin our journey in the Cap Kingdom where this blue lever tries to ruin things, but there aren't any moons in your first trip to Cap Kingdom anyway. And in Cascade, we can snag a few purple donuts, but there's only so much we can do here. I just couldn't wait any longer to get to the Sand Kingdom where the magic of this run begins. The very first moon we collect is overlooking the desert town. Let's go! And we're off to a swift start breaking into people's stores and stealing moons. I pound a large hill. Definitely got that one first try. And I find a new movement option. Mario is this little twirl, dude. It's actually pretty useful, I think. I put that twirl to the test and started feeling a little bit more comfortable moving around Capulus. Who's ready for this? Nobody. Nobody's ready for this. <gasps> Let's go! <laughs> All I had to do next was draw a circle. It's walking a, it's, it's walking a cir circle. Oh no, where am I going? Oh, circle? 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 Yo! Oh. 94! I'm sick! I'm actually gross! Little nipple. We already did the big nipple. The bird showed up. I played some music. And then, why do I feel like you can't do slots? I tried to do the slots. What happens if you just like... Okay, it's after the heart. That is... <laughs> you have to... You did literally... He's, he's literally saying... It. Use your hat to throw and line them up in a row! We swim through some quicksand. We collect a 2D moon without Cappy. Ooh, baby! That's not Cappy. That's, that's just Cap. There we go. Can we get this moon? Normally you put the dude with the sunglasses on. So I didn't put the dude with the glasses on. And I mean, am I gonna die? I didn't die, what? Yeah, no, it's got a door. And of course we can't enter any of the doors without Cappy. Can you roll into it? I mean, there's literally a hat on it. You can't, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Come on. All right, I need some. I need a quick hit of dopamine here. Just, 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 just let me get this. Oh, we can go to the Odyssey now. And with that moon, we had enough to move on from the Sand Kingdom without Cappy. But as per the rules we made, I could only collect pre-piece story moons, and I wasn't allowed to go back for any. No, 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 the beautiful sheep. I'll never get him. He'll never get him back. <laughs> And since our sights were set on 124 moons, I knew I had to continue to scavenge the Sand Kingdom for any more moons I could possibly find. There we go. Oh! Oh no! I blew it! No, I didn't blow it! Ah! No! <laughs> the bullet bill just. I can't believe we just did it! Oh my god! Are we gonna get a moon out of this? It wasn't all for nothing! We got a moon out of that! Oh my god. Hey guys. <laughs> Can you jump on top of a bullet bill? <gasps> oh, hold on a second. Oh! So it's possible that I couldn't make it. But at the end of the video, you'll see how this jump was possible all along. I gotta answer the riddle. And what about opening treasure chests without Cappy? Is that possible? Oh no. Oh, 
I talk to the quiz kitty again, and then I throw myself inside a hole. I'm inside the hole. And inside that hole, I popped off. Ooh! We're popping off. And I collected another moon outside. Then I wrote a feline statue over some purple flurp, ultimately getting two more moons. Okay, I'll see you guys pretty soon. I'm just gonna sit here and wait 20 minutes, Nintendo. Wait 20 minutes. Oh, look at that! Would you look at that? It's all about patience, everybody. Patient. Nothing good comes easy and fast. It's just about patience. But I could still feel that there were one or two moons left in sand, so I kept hunting. Hold on now. Okay, that wasn't even close, dude. Dude. I think I was getting some where it's spin jump, but... BANG! 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 I snagged two more quickies, and we were out of there with 30 moons. We're moving on. Do you guys think we're gonna get 124? I proudly flew to the Wooded Kingdom where things became a little more interesting. Later, I wanna rock. Rock! The Wooded Kingdom actually allowed for some really cool moons that required some crazy capitalist movement. I was definitely starting to get better at moving around without Cappy, and I used these skills to get some more moons that I was familiar with. Bang! I couldn't get through the maze without capturing the onion, so I decided to try something here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! -hoo -hoo -hoo! Got you. There it is. And the maze jump proved to be massive since there were a lot of moons that I could collect after it. <gasps> oh! No way! I broke a quick nut inside the tower for another moon, but I knew the boss was just ahead. Can I beat this boss? He's barfing over me. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. We can beat the boss, I think. We can beat it! We can beat it! We can beat it! No way. No way. No way. There's a lot of bosses that require Cappy in this game, so I was pumped that I didn't need him for that one. 44. Let's just go to Deep Woods now. With just a few moons left to leave, I went down to the Deep Woods. I snagged a few more moons there, but I ultimately realized there was a big problem. How am I gonna get out? Don't you just throw the nut at the soil? I don't think you need Cappy for that. Oh, the levers needed for the nut? Oh no. How was I going to get out? I don't, can we do, oh no, that's actually really not good. I might have to theoretically not go down here at all. In order to get out, you have to grab the nut. But in order to get the nut, I don't think it's just like laying around. I think you have to get it from the robot guy. So here's the guy, right? Pull lever to receive seed. Now the only way to pull the lever is to throw Cappy on him. <laughs> if you save and quit, do you respawn above deep woods? Well, I hope so. So if I save and quit and I come back, I'm not in the deep woods anymore. So I tried it. I saved the game, loaded another file, then went back into this one, and it worked. Yo, we're back. The run was saved, and since you don't need Cappy to manage your game files, it was perfectly legal, and we got to keep all the moons we collected in the deep woods. Come on, come at me. With that, we had enough moons, but you already know I wanted to get more. Yes, yes! And we did have a few more theories to test out. Oh, we need to... We need to pull the pull the lever. No! <laughs> Someone said throw a rock at the seed machine, so I guess that's what we're gonna try. Well, it was worth a shot. Try going through the back of the maze. I thought these blocks were impenetrable, but <gasps> you can break them. We actually get our nut inside the red maze, and before we know it, we're off to the Lake Kingdom. Technically on pace to exceed 124 moons. Ah, there's one! But I had a sneaking feeling that things would only get more difficult from here on out. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Should I go in here? Here's another moon! But that's a luncheon moon, chat. We had some success early on, but without capturing any cheap cheeps, we have to rely on Mario's questionable swimming abilities. Say what now? What are we doing? This is where I die, dude. This is 100% where I die. Oh, wait, I don't die immediately. It's a slow and painful death. No way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Let's go! Oh, my goodness. I quickly snag a 2D moon, and I have an intimate moment with a mermaid lady in a secluded room. Let's keep this place our little secret. Okay, lady. He's over there. We're kind of cruising right now. Let's go. The wrangle fight went smoothly. Gotta do a little bit of this. Oh, oh. 
Nice. Can you jump on his hat? Oh, jeez. I'm just. I'm, I like to just run away. Number two. Number two. Number two. Oh, I hit his eyebrow just like before. There we go. <laughs> Next, it was time to give my seed to another mermaid lady. And although it took a while and she began to weep, I eventually put it in and pleased her for a moon. There we go. That's what we're talking about. It feels good to make things grow. Okay. I'm, I, I didn't even, that wasn't even me at that time, you guys. After pounding another chest and banging my head against a wall of crates, we were on to the class Lost Kingdom, which funny enough tries to steal Cappy from you. We're lost. I'm lost. Keyword tries oh baby moon number one we ought to be able to get the moon up here too i don't see why not yeah we have this high ground whenever we need it which could be huge i'm eyeing you butterfly over there normally you throw your can i just leap on it no it goes away i don't know if we can get this one without cappy you know what we can get without cappy though this one and you know what else we can get without cappy uh this one and we can also get, oh geez, oh no. I don't think that's enough height. Is it enough height? It's enough height. Down here. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Here we go. I think this is my favorite kingdom in the game, chat. Press one if you agree. I'm going for the shards. This actually might be like the coolest moon we've had yet. Cause I think it's possible. Unlike the last shards, it just takes a little platform and you know what I'm saying? I think it maybe is in here oh baby there it is okay how the frick do i get out of here <laughs> we continued to go off and loss and i had enough moods to leave and with that lost kingdom is a success and then of course i tried to keep going 2d1 oh 3d1 though 3d1 i'm gonna die <laughs> i'm gonna die i'm not gonna die Oh, we love it. We love it. I am so dead, but I don't care. I'm honestly surprised. That... All right, chat, give it to me straight. Do you think we can get this butterfly one? <gasps> I really thought we could get the butterfly moon without Cappy. You... And we did. How long did we try to do that for? And that was the strat. <laughs> yes! <laughs> the Metro Kingdom. An exciting kingdom with tons of moons available. Except you need Cappy to advance from the first platform. So as far as Capulous moons go, it might be dead right here. Okay, it's over. With no moons from Metro, the Snow Kingdom was next, which also proved to be difficult. Now, there are some moons we can grab inside the town, but we can't compete in the snow race that removes the blizzard outside. And still, we try to get as many moons as possible. Number one, here. That's gonna put us up to eight to do the spinies, but you have to wonder if it's possible. You don't have to wonder anymore, cause yeah. Let's go. I definitely didn't struggle at all with Rango again. What are you? And there goes the battle, flawless baby. First try. <laughs> and we got all the moons we could possibly get before going outside to hang with Captain Toad for a little bit. Hey. So despite the inclement weather, we somehow did get 10 moons, which means that the Snow Kingdom was a success. In the Seaside Kingdom, we snag a couple easy moons early, avoid drowning for a little while, and climb as high as I possibly could. Question is, how far can I go in here without using Cappy? I think we can go a good ways. No! Not this again! Wait, yes! We can do it when we're not underwater! Oh! Oh! We also open up this chest that made this kingdom a lot more interesting. <gasps> Wait a minute, that actually might be huge. Dives are gonna be essential. Do I know where the moons are? No, but we're about to find them. Not that. Oh, it just took damage. It's not looking good for our heroes. Oh, oh, they're right there. They're right there. 
Can we make it all the way to the end this time? Yes, because there's a moon right here that I think is going to regen. We have fresh air. Still taking damage. Still taking damage. But we're at this spot a lot earlier. Yeah, baby. Yeah. 90. Set. Set. Seven. 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 There are a lot of moons that are locked until we beat the boss. But since we can't beat the boss, we had to get a little bit creative. Ooh, baby. Luckily for us, there were four seed moons. And then I got a few more moons. Yes. We're going to move on to luncheon. We've got 14 moons left. The goal is and always has been 124. With 110 Capulus moons, we only had a few kingdoms left. We're going to luncheon, baby. I'm really nervous for luncheon. But I had my doubts about Bowser's and the moon. So I really felt like we needed to get the last 14 here in the luncheon kingdom. Let's go. I already have one up there in the corner from the painting, but we've already counted that one. There's a moon back here. Is this a multi-moon? I'm hoping this is a multi-moon. Very funny. Oh, it's one moon! I think there's a moon if you rub this thing off with your cap, but we can't do that. Come on, baby! Ten left. I'm just so scared about over there. I know we need the hammer, bro, for a lot of it. And we also needed the Pepto-Bismol Potaboo in order to traverse around most of the kingdom. Can't get this. Can't get the gold turnip. Can get that, though. I can get that, though. There's one on top of a post over here. Right here. Bang. I don't know, chat. This is where it's going to start to get crazy. So I have six pieces of life. You know what? Let me stop talking and just show you. Oh my goodness. Go. Please go. Please go. Please go. Please go. Oh my god. No way. Oh my god. I can go, 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 go. Question is, can I get out? I've only played this game with the cap, dude. I only know how to get out there with a cap. I was jazzed to get that moon, but before I knew it, I realized I had hit a wall. Clearly, you need the hammer, bro, to chop the cheese, get that moon, and then unlock the next part of the kingdom. There was no way for me to get any further without Cappy. I can get across here maybe with if I have six pieces of life. Life apart. Let's go. Do I just take a shot for it? It's really not that far away. I think we're cooked. That's it. We can't get to the boss because that requires a capture. So there's one moon that could potentially maybe be possible. So I grabbed one moon that I had forgotten about and I had to be on my way. This is where it ends, I believe, my friends. Still six moons short. The Ruin Kingdom requires Cappy for the boss. It has to be before the fight. It has to be before literally right here. Is that a moon? But there is this chest right before the fight. <gasps> Oh, oh my god! Every single moon at this point was a rush. As I knew that every one would count. We pulled up on Bowser's kingdom, hoping maybe, just maybe. Yeah, oh no. This early? <sighs> you. Why? All that was left was the moon kingdom. This is fun because a lot of me just doesn't know if there's even a moon that we can get in here. We needed five moons all before using Cappy at all. It's time to explore the moon kingdom. I proceeded nervously, having no idea whether or not this would even be possible. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> 120. I just only remember enough to, I don't, I don't know if it's post game or what, I don't even care, hit me, I don't care. I can't believe it, I can't believe it, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. Oh my god. Wait, 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 there's a boss dude, there's a boss dude over there. There's a rabbit over there, bunny, come on. Uh oh, this could be difficult. Come on, <laughs> come on, yes, yes.
Okay, that's 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 not a move. Oh, I see you. How about a little bit of this? Oh no. Oh no, we can do that, right? Is that an even enough? Oh my god, it doesn't even matter. That's enough. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe it. One left. Where do you No no stop. Cha 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 cha. It's glowing. It's glowing! We did it! We did it. 124 moons without Cappy. The same total amount of moons required to beat Super Mario Odyssey. And did I mention that we did it with only one moon to spare? He's going for the rebound though, and he got it! I could only get one more moon before having to use Cappy in the Moon Kingdom. This may or may not be where our cappy adventure ends. But hold on, just one second. I have something I want to show you. Yeah, I missed a few of them. With the help of my friends Bay Souffle and Pro Prof K, we collected 12 more moons without the use of Cappy, totaling 137 possible moons. Oh, and if you wanted to add shop moons at one moon per kingdom, you could reach the shop without Cappy. That would make for a grand total of 143 free piece, free Bowser, only traveling forward, power moons, Cappy list. So, can you beat Mario Odyssey without Cappy? No, but after over eight hours of no cap, it certainly felt like it when we collected that 124th moon. And if you think there's any more, you're welcome to try for yourself in two-player mode and let me know. Or don't do that. And just relax and watch more Red Falcon instead. Touch the screen now. I will wait for you. Okay, okay. All right. All right, I'm done waiting.